All right, there are perks that I want to upgrade. I don't have much gold. What do I have to do? After an enemy is created, 10% chance it gains an extra life. That's not too bad. I could do that. What do I have to upgrade? I have stuff. I have stuff. This one seemed good. Dissecate. Is it weird? Probably. Probably. Stone Ascension. I don't know. Start the battle. All right. We also get these. Wait. Hmm. Fested. Sometimes this game is a lot to think about. I'm going to place this one. I'm going to do this. I could place something under the conveyor belt right now. For no reason. Just to do it. I could put Dysicate down there. Let's try this. Bam. You're up in the air. So what just happened? Death Incarnate. Dysicate. After this is created, remove all cubes. Devouring. Melee. 100 mana. Temporary double time. So I got kind of unlucky that this one costs so much mana. Oh no, maybe I didn't. After I place this one... Hmm. I kind of get it. So this one would go away if I place this one. You can only have one in existence at a time. Is that true? Yeah, I think so. Okay. This one costs 100 mana. 15 max HP, devouring, melee. Melee. Dissecate. Speed up time. After another cube takes damage, if it has one or less HP, kill, kill that cube. I think I have to place this. It's so good. It's very expensive. What do they have? Nothing super scary. I think I'm good. Let's do it. This thing isn't that bad. It is killing my crates, but that's, that's okay. Death incarnate. Bam. That thing should die. That thing did not die. I thought for sure that this was going to die. From your hand. Oh. So it leaves these two. It just gets rid of this one. Awaken. If the cube below is a neutral, convert it to your faction. Give it all abilities of an elemental knight. Infested. Dissecate. Temporary double time. Oh. Weird. Okay, it would be kind of good if you could jump over this. You already have 35. All right, let's just do things. You. That is now mine. Concrete. This. Eight armies. Oh, God. After another ally is placed. Okay. Couldn't I make a stupid summoning circle with that? That seems stupid. That would be stupid. Okay. I could put down a ton of death knights. I could put down just the strange crawlers. It's not bad. Concrete went out into the world. It does six damage every two seconds. This thing is up to 48 HP and 247 infested. Okay. I could do incursion. Four uses. Does it help? 
No idea. Eight armies. Eight armies really wants this death knight. Maybe I do that. Or I see whatever it gives me next. Huh. So what does it give me next? Flamethrower. Not that good. Not that good. I think we just do the Death Knight. These are infested. Cool. Except the Death Knight can't ever get past these rusty belts. Still, it's fun. Oh, it's going to send me into negative mana forever. Oops. Still fun. Still fun. Could I do better? Don't know. Wait, it didn't even create them all. Created a bunch. The jump rope messed with me. Why does this one not have jump rope? This one does. Does. Doesn't. Weird. I did damage to a random enemy and I am poisonous. Ah, uh, but I didn't happen to hit the leader. Lame. All right. God, I'm putting down enough infested that I almost feel like I should be summoning like the death knights. Retaliatory ward. After an allied leader takes damage, deal one damage to the culprit. Kind of good. So flamethrower. Oh, but I'm in negative forever. Right. I knew that. Not actually that long. But a while. The Death Knights can't get past one rusty belt. One Death Knight made it past. But it's gonna die. It's creating strange crawlers for me. God, imagine if instead of this, I had just put down... I could have put down nine Poisoner's Kits. That would have been kind of fun. Okay, we need through. We need through. How is this doing? 16. We're almost into positive mana. Leader reinforcement. After this is created, a random allied leader gains 10 extra HP. Static electricity could do poison if I put down the summoner, the poisoner's kit. Chill. They need to chill. They're missing with most of those. They are killing their allies, but still. I'm down two Death Knights. This thing has 1,048 infested. Devouring every five seconds deals 100 damage to every touching enemy and neutral. Cool. And when things die, this will charge forward. If it wasn't blocked. How much do you cost? 100 mana. Okay. Okay, my death knights are for through. They're free. We win the game. Mana is full. Reset. After this is created, replace the cube below with a cube in the library with the same name. The same, or the faction stays the same. Reset. I still have eight armies. We could do... I said Poisoner's Kit. Let's do Poisoner's Kit. Eight armies was only once. After this is created, remove all cubes. Oh, eight armies was only once. Oops. Okay. That's fine. Ah, uh, yeah. That's fine. We win. Charging laser. 
Retaliatory Ward. I want things that cost less mana. This one's so expensive. Mimic Moyle. After another ally is placed, exile this and create a copy of the placed cube here. Kind of interesting, but god, it's expensive. I don't think this one's good. I want to reroll, except I'm about to go spend money here. Do I care? I said I wasn't going to go 1600 in debt. I didn't say anything about going like 300 in debt. Death laser. Giant leech. Death laser is quite good, but it costs 100 mana. Giant leech is broken. Have we considered that giant leech is broken? I want giant leech. It makes me happy. Bottled architect. Only works in battles. Each cube in your hand gains 3 extra HP. I'm about to go so far into debt. Let's go so far into debt. Oh, they cost 150 a piece. Okay. Oh god, this one is stupid. Let's go stupid. So, I'm in debt. I am in debt. I admit that I am in debt. After an ally is created, it gains all abilities of a summoning circle. Jump rope. Common grudge. Okay, I'm not 1600 in debt yet. After this is created, and every minute, this deals one damage to a random enemy. Feeding time. After an infested cube is killed, it's killer. I don't think I need that. I think it's okay. After you place it, join the swarm. Refund half its cost. Starting hand size is increased by five. Huh. I think I prefer this one. I don't know. The hand size is good, but I don't really need it. Question mark. Okay, I do need this one. Stone Ascension. It's kind of stupid. Lots of these are kind of stupid. Stone Ascension, you're gone. Giant Leech. Would I ever place Strange Crawler when I have a giant leech? I don't think so. Cool. Poisoner's Kit, Death Knight, Time Bomb. Why would I place Time Bomb when I could place Unstable Egg? Maybe there's a reason. Start the battle. Okay, 50 mana. Giant Leech. I've already forgotten all the things that I got. You're going to have built-in ritual thing. If I just place a ton of Giant Leeches, won't they combine up? I have I. Every minute deal one damage to a random enemy. I have I. Why do they all have I? Because that's what this does. I knew that. What about this one? So this, every 10 seconds for touching non-leader allies, if I could get them to combine up with this, is that good? Maybe. Unstable eggs. Toothy barrier. This one's easy to get to combine up. Giant leech is so good. I'm just going to place some of these and let's see what they do. Oh, I'm supposed to join the swarm on one of them. Oops. Should have done that. I will do it. I just need 45 mana. Okay.
I get lots of bees. And the bees create lots of infested for me. How am I infesting these allies? You gained strength. Of course you did. Why would you gain strength? Because why wouldn't you? Because you're on top of a neutral? Because you jumped rope and you had a 5% chance to gain strength. Obviously. This thing is here. It has an eye. It could combine up in weird ways. It's blocking the giant leech. If there are four touching non-leader allies. Huh. Join the swarm. Cost 30 mana. Okay. Huh. Toothy barrier. I'm going to place one of these down. I'm going to place another down. Okay. Do I think these are going to combine up? Maybe if I place enough of them, they could. Did they just combine up? They totally did. We have a Join the Swarm, Giant Leech, Dissecate, Giant Leech, Giant Leech, with five times eye, three times lifesteal, 44 infested, super melee, super charging, super climbing, every 10 seconds, do things. And I think it rerolls this one, the mana cube. Every five seconds, generate two mana. It's kind of good. It's not that good. What are you? Secret Keeper. Wait. Now I have two Dicecates. Huh. What does Secret Keeper do? I don't know. I want it. Did my Super Cube just die? I feel like my Super Cube died. Chaotic Administrator. That is scary. I would like to kill that. It has a lot of HP. I do have lifesteal. I'm over here doing things. They have a thousand HP. I think they killed my super unit though. What is this? Spear Slicer. Every two seconds, if there's a non-allied cube, two spaces in front, deal five damage to it. It's fairly cheap. All right. Secret Keeper. I just want more leeches, really. I should be trying to create a super leech. What is going on with these? They're just moving themselves in weird ways. Because my bees are taking out the platforms. Or something. This thing is almost dead. Lifesteal is so good. I don't understand how my super leech died. We almost killed it. Okay, to kill it, what would I do? Spear slicer. This is an ally. Crap, that one made it over. Of course it did. Um, I need cheaper cubes that don't explode themselves. Okay, if I get one more leech right here, oh, it'll jump over. <laughs> it'll totally jump over. I could just get a super toothy barrier. That's not very good. I should just be placing these giant leeches and forget everything else. Infested 223. Poisonous. Poisonous is a problem. Oh, but you die when you crash into the wall? No. Holy, why is this thing so tough? What have they done? You did something. You did this. Crap. I think I'm in trouble, like I just lost. Is this true? Incursion. I 
How much damage does this do? Strength one. It's poisonous is the main problem. I thought my bees were going to be <laughs> enough, kind of. Um, I have a catapult. I'm already poisoned. Am I? Yeah. How long does catapult take? Every second. Launch yourself. Where's my leader? My leader's up here. If I could have done that, which I could have, before getting the 10, 15 poison on me, I would have been okay, maybe. 142 HP. Poisoner's kit would be really nice. These, there are three of them touching. Oh. Incursions are weird. I've already lost. I don't have consumables. That's okay. We have two hearts. We're fine. We are fine. Regen, retaliate, eye. Oh, maybe I should have just placed a bunch of... No, the eye attack's slow. Bees. Giant leech is the way. I just needed to power it up more. It's going to die to these plant things. Wait, what if my leader combines up? Wait. Is that brilliant? It would cost me the mana, so I would go negative forever. I can't move forward. Defeat! I thought of it too late. Killer itself. Is that what that said? Enter a shop with negative gold. Encounter a random event but lose 10 gold. Add two paths from the current map node to two random map nodes except for the last six. Lose a random terrain perk. Choose one of three new terrain perks. Um, I don't really want to go through these cursed fights. I could. What is this cursed fight? No, that's pretty bad. Freeze my stuff. Splintering leadership. Also kind of bad. Curse of debt. No. No. Okay. I could go back and go to this fight. Do I think I would win? Maybe. I would get this chest first. Market instability. Shop prices fluctuate by 30% more. Leading to sometimes very cheap stuff. Kill streak. After an ally kills, it gains one kill streak, which lasts for 10 seconds without killing. Allies deal plus one damage for every three kill streak they have. Eventual rescue. Every five minutes, each allied leader heals to full HP. That sounds kind of amazing. Does it? Kill streak sounds kind of amazing. Market instability sounds kind of amazing. Ooh, 100%. Reaching 30 creates a nuke above a random enemy leader. Eventual rescue. If your mana or max mana is less than 100, raise it to 100. Huh. Market instability sounds really fun. Will I get lots of kills? I don't think so. But maybe. I'm going to take kill streak. With a big leech, it could be really good. Okay. Difficulty 16. Wait, can't I move? Oh, I had to do it from back here. My bad. My bad. 
Okay, that's fine. That is fine. What did I learn? Nothing. Stone Ascension. Hmm. It's too expensive, but it would be good. Start the battle. I have a baby chaos dragon. I have a baby icy dragon. Wait, these are babies, not eggs. Wait. Growth one. After this is created, this gains a random bonus. When this has more than 25 max HP, exile this, create a chaos dragon. After this is created, mana cost increases. Huh. Um, when this has more than 20 max HP, it already has more than 20 max HP. Costs five mana. One use. Flying. Here, you're in the world. Oh, I could combine that up with other stuff. Aren't you going to disappear? Every 30 seconds, accelerate every cube in your hand with the same name by 3 seconds. When this has more than 20 max HP, exile this. Create an icy dragon in its place. I should not have put that up there. I guess its mana cost will be high. Growth 1. Place this down. After an incursion is created, if there's an enemy in front, add an allied full HP free copy of it into your hand. Wait a second. Why did I not pay attention to that? After an enemy dies, gain a tenth of its mana cost in mana. There is so much stuff going on. Oh, I re-rolled into random perks. Oh, that's what's going on. Oh. Okay. Let's stop trying to think then. And just play the video game and see what happens. I want this mana. Oh, but the stupid leech is gonna climb. I have a dragon. Okay. 706 gold. Quit climbing. These do lifesteal. Kill streak, zap. Dissecate. Could be good. Toothy barrier. I think I just get more of these, right? My dragons will do things. This dragon. Four times. Every 30 seconds, accelerate every cube in your hand with the same name by three seconds. Frozen. Unaffected by time. Oh, I get it. Huh. What do they have? They have a gun. Is that all they have? They have my debt. But I have leeches. And I have whatever this all is. I have multiplying shield of red suns. After an allied leader takes damage by an enemy, it deals the same amount to that enemy and three random enemies, but then also deals that much damage to itself. What? Why would I want this? Okay. Cleansing and repairing. Tinkering, which I don't have, also heals the cube below for five HP and removes any poison or negative strength. Cool. That is worthless. But cool. Kill streak of seven. We're doing things. Every 30 seconds. Accelerate every cube in your hand with the same name by three seconds. In my hand. What does that mean? In my hand. Okay. Game is weird. Just get the mana, which you're never going to do. 
Okay, I'm just gonna keep placing more of these and maybe this one. Maybe that one. I mean, at least the enemy's not doing anything. Why did we just get hurt? Don't know. I'm gonna place that one there. I got a comedic anvil. This is stupid. Cost 20 mana to reroll it. So what hurt this? We'll never know. We will never know. There's too many things down here and I'm not reading them all. There's a lot of things down here. What is this one? Fell the middling. After an ally kills an enemy, which costs more than two times as much, it replicates into that enemy's position. These could kill big enemies. Wait, why are you hurting so much? You did this. What did you do? Static electricity. Leader regen. What did you do? What is this? Dead of health. After this is created, deal, deal zero damage to every cube in the player's hand. Strength one. After this is created, set mana cost to dead amount and remove this ability. What? I assume it's doing worse things than it sounds like. Why am I taking damage? This one is fine. It's frozen for another 829 seconds. My stuff is dying. Which is weird to me. Oh, I should have placed this. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Join the swarm is good. I should have already placed that. I always forget it. Join the swarm. Not infested. Hey, my mana just shot up for some reason. That's kind of scary. This is an ally. What is it doing over here? Game is weird. You have a kill streak of 20, but that's going to fall off. Game is weird. I kind of want to get the Poisoner's Kit. What else do I want to do? I kind of want to get the Death Knight. Wait, where is my thing? Oh, right, this. This should be free placement. It has a lot of HP. Toothy Barrier. Kill streak of one. I kind of want the Death Knight. I like that the Death Knight doesn't climb in this map. Most of the time, ah, oh, but he'll die to whatever is slowly killing me. It will. What about Poisoner's Kit? Poisoner's Kit would be pretty good right now, but it will die. Are these going to get through? They are, but barely. Retaliate. I think I need this, but it's still not enough. All right, do it. Hopefully this lives long enough to poison the leader. It's still not even close to enough. Poison two. We're doing things. This thing's almost dead. I should just get the Death Knight so that I could get the mana. Would the leeches get to the mana more quickly? How much damage do you do? Every two seconds, three damage. Zap, three times zap, zap is what's messing my stuff up. Zap is what's messing me up. Poisoner's Kit will die. Three times zap. Why are you getting three times? Okay, poison's going up. 
Not by much, but enough to offset the regen. Poisoner kit wore off. You're already at regen 8. It's going to keep going higher. Crap. Death Knight or four of these? Hmm. I feel like it's four of these. Oh, but the zap messes these up. Now nah, let's get the Death Knight. Hey, I'm about to get a bunch of mana. Wait, that could overfill my mana. That could overfill my mana. 30 mana. It gives max mana as well. 160. Death Knight just took damage. Mana is high. What do I do with high mana? Poisoner's Kit? But it doesn't live long enough. God, if only I could still combine things up. I don't have a consumable, do I? Curse of Wages, that'll get rerolled. Pretty sure. These are gonna hurt each other with Zap. Wait, okay. They have Lifesteal. This one's not going to live long enough. My mana is up to 340. My leader's about to die. My leader is about to die. I don't know what to do about that. Put some retaliate things down? Wait, are we about to kill them? I don't think so. How far does Zap reach? Because they're about to do another Zap. Seven spaces. Okay, the Zap is passed. Do you have Zap on you? You do. After a second, deal one damage within seven spaces. After a second. Wait, how long does Zap last? It just keeps going? Place this. Okay, the Zap is gone. Good. Place these. It just got killed by zaps because I wasn't paying attention. Eat those zaps. Do you have zaps on you? You do. Eat the zaps. Cool. Do you have more zaps on you? No. Okay, we're good. Everything's getting hurt. How much poison? 72 poison. Versus 8 HP with no way to heal. Two HP on these. 100 poison. 108, 116, 120. It's going up quick. I like that it had negative strength for a little bit. It has negative two armor. Before this takes damage, negate nine, negative two of that damage. What does this even mean? Five HP, I think I just lost. It's so close though. This is stupid. No, that doesn't work. That totally doesn't work. Tinkering. I was thinking that that cube was in my hand and like maybe there's just a chance that it'll spawn. Okay, we're about to get mana crystals though. 140 poison. I just need to live. You have zap, which doesn't really matter. Poisoner kit. Cool. Poisoner kit. 2 HP. If I could live for one minute, I could kill this. 
One HP. Dragon, somehow save me. Nine times every 30 seconds, accelerate every cube in your hand with the same name by three seconds. Nine times zap. Okay, so it is good, actually, that I put this so far up. Unaffected by time still. Got it. I'm about to lose. I lose. What is killing me? I don't know. Defeat. Limestone is killing me. Angry Lingering Souls. After an enemy deals damage, reduce a cube to zero or less HP. It gains minus one strength. After an enemy. Ooh. For 20 seconds. And minus one armor forever. That's not what did it. Hello to Earth. Every 10 seconds, each neutral cube deals one damage to the cube above it unless it is also neutral. Oh. That is what killed me. Every 10 seconds. Hallowed Earth. So, if you're going to take... Which one was it? This one. Radical Exchange. You really don't want to have many curses. This one is probably just bad overall. But God, it's fun. I would totally take that again. Wait, Bottled Victory. I would like to drink this right now. Drink this inventory. Wait a second. Bottled victory. Back. There's no way that that just saved me. Bottled geologist only works in non-minigame battles. Add a cube to your hand, which adds a neutral cube to your inventory. Start of each non-minigame battle. Add a cube to your hand, which adds a neutral cube to your inventory to your inventory. Weird. Curse of Wages. Start of each battle. Lose one gold for every cube in your hand. This will get re-rolled. Adventure Key. Consumable. Only works outside of battles. Encounter a random event. Wait, are my perks getting re-rolled into consumables or do I get something that gives me a ton of consumables? A bigger cold copy. It looks like I'm just getting a bunch of stuff. Bottled blood chest, consumable, only works outside of battles. Replace a random non-chest map node with a blood chest, except for the last six nodes. Lose this, replace all map nodes with blood chest nodes, including the exit. How does that work? Don't you need the exit? Curse of Resilience. After an enemy is created, if it has more than 0 HP, it gains 2 extra HP. Membership. All prices in future shops are reduced. Consumable. Gain a random perk. After each battle, gain a random perk. Curse of Doubt. Bottled Bottles. Gain 2 random consumables. Bottled Drones. Chaotic Drone. Chaotic Drone. Curse of Obsidian. Adventure Key. Encounter a random event. Bottled Spiders. Curse of Blue. <laughs> no. After you take a step on the map, lose three starting mana. Bottled Oblivion. Erase from reality. Okay, I think I just have to, oh, to click that a bunch. I tried to cheat it did not work. That would have been so fun if we would have lived. I probably would have died right afterwards. I like that. I have no regrets. All right. For now, that is going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching.